sweets or they give up alcohol or they give up something. But fasting is not just for spiritual reasons. It's also beneficial to your health. Water, fresh juice, raw vegetables, and fruits. Fasting from food can actually be good for you, not just spiritually, but physically too. Dr. Chauncey Crandall is a cardiologist who studied the benefits of fasting. He says abstaining from food on a regular basis, even for one day, can remove harmful toxins and heal damaged organs. Well, please welcome back to the 700 Club a dear friend, Dr. Chauncey Crandall. Chauncey, Thank good you. to have yeah. you with yeah. us. Blessings on you. What's all this business about fasting? How good is it and why? Well, you know, Pat, Pat fasting is the, the big hot topic today. It is. And yeah. even in medicine, you know, there's spiritual significance and yeah. physical significance to it. But what we're finding out now is that uh, people that fast live longer. Uh, because of what? Well, there are all sorts of things that go on in the body that uh, we didn't understand before. Yeah. We know that uh, Mormons usually fast the first Sunday of each month, yeah. and we did a study on that. Uh, science did a study on okay. these people, and they found out that the incidence of heart attack was reduced by 40%. One day a month? One day a month, correct. Well, it's got to be a total fast to do A that. total fast. Yeah. One day a month. You know, there are all sorts of fasts, but I think the, the main point is that uh, we need to cut down on the amount of food that we take in. Well, what does this do? What is the chemical process in your body as you're fasting? What goes on? Well, when you fast, you, you shut the body down. Okay. It's just like you sleeping at night. You know, your mind is repairing itself. Uh, the hormones in your body are reactivating. Fasting does the same thing. There's a benefit right. by decreasing the food intake. Actually, the, the body performs better. Well, does it, are there some toxins and stuff that get the excreted when you fast? Well, the, the, the main thing you excrete is fat. Okay. And uh, we want to get rid of that, okay? Because 65% of people are overweight today. Yeah. But what happens is that we have found out that with fasting, the body likes to be under a little stress. Mm. And when you go through a fast, it puts the body under stress. And it's just like if I was lifting weights. Yeah. I stress this muscle in my arm just a little bit, uh -huh. but what happens? That muscle grows, it gets bigger, uh, it gets a better blood supply to it because I've stressed this muscle. All right. And I think God had it in, in, in His plan that not only is fasting carries spiritual significance, it also has this great physical significance. Well, what about, are you, you're a cardiologist, what about your heart, your arteries, your uh, whole cardiovascular system, what does it do? Well, you know, I'm using fasting in the office today for my heart patients. You know, they did a study in World War II, mm -hmm. and they looked at patients that were put in prisoner of war camps. Right. When these people went in, they had heart disease, but because they were on a, you know, constant fast, re, reduced food intake, when they left the camp, their heart disease was gone. So we know that fasting has great benefit for the heart. Well, now how? How does it work? Well, it, it's simply by reducing your calorie intake yeah. is, the, is the first thing. But we know that when you fast, your cholesterol levels will drop dramatically. Okay. And when you lose fat on the outside of your body, you're also losing fat on the inside of the lining of the arteries of your heart, mm -hmm. which are called plaque. So fasting is beneficial for Actually, heart patients. You're removing the plaque? You're removing the plaque. Yeah. You're removing the fat lining that has accumulated over years on the inside of the arteries. You're reducing that and improving the artery, actually. With heart disease, the whole property of the artery is restored. And the, pro you know, the, the property of uh, dilatation of the artery, constriction, all the elements that are released on the lining of the artery improve. Well, how many days? One, I mean, you, those prisoners are in there for years. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think we can do that, but uh, <laughs> uh, I think we can take the recommendation from different groups that really one day a month would be a minimum, but I would recommend uh, one day a week. Yeah. And often my wife and I will fast every Monday. 
of every week. Well, now, what is a fast? Is it with juice? Is it with water? Is it with nothing? Well, I think the main thing is that we need to keep things simple for okay. people. You know, many people are going through difficult times, so we can't go off in all different direction and buy expensive things to fast. What we need to do is keep things simple. A water fast, okay. going without food for the whole day and simply taking in fluids. Water would be the first. Okay. The other would be possibly a juice fast, would be the second type of fast. And then the third would be restricted food items that we could well, you work would think with. that during a fast your body would lose all kinds of essential minerals and vitamins and things like that. Is that true? No, that's not true. That's not true. Because, you know, this body has the ability. We know that Moses fasted 40 days yeah. and Jesus fasted 40 days. And there have been scientific studies. This body has enough fat in it mm -hmm. that it can last 40 days without food by just simply